What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. Now, I know we're on an Astroneer kick, but that's okay because we're having a blast playing it. So if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to consider subscribing as well. Now, in this episode, we built the uh, we built a little shuttle last time and we're going to try to go off planet. We're going to try to go off planet and do some things on a new world. It's a whole new world. <laughs> and uh, I think what we're going to need to do that is we need the habitat. We're gonna need the habitat like right away. Uh, so let's see, where's the habitito at? Habitat? Um, where are you? Where are you, habitat? There it is. Okay, we need this guy. It's four thousand bytes. Got it. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Okay. So if you guys don't know, you need the habitat in order to build another base to go somewhere else. Uh, well, to a point because you can't actually build off the sh the shuttle. You can build like one platform off the shuttle if they if that still exists. I don't know. We'll we'll play with that. We'll play with that, don't worry. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, we need the habitat, which I believe is still... Where's the printer? Here's the printer. There's the printer, okay. Habitat is copper, that's right, they changed it. They changed it. Okay, one of those, one of these. And then we're gonna do uh, one of those, one of those, perfect. Now, this guy is the exact same thing as this right here, except you get to pick where you want it. <laughs> oh! So if you wanna move your base, if you wanna go somewhere else, Guess what, you unlock this bad boy, <gasps> and you go, just don't hit that button until you're ready. Just don't hit that button until you're ready. Um, now, we were talking about possibly building the large storage, and I'm trying to think if that will allow us, if we, if we put the large storage on here, I can't remember, I think, I feel like I've done this before. Large storage, 3200 bytes, oh, we don't have the medium storage yet, ooh, we need that. That's a necessity, that's a necessity. The medium storage is, uh, actually, you know what? I've been having a lot of people ask me, like, what do you do with all the extra stuff? How do you store everything? Well, you have to build more storage. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is to it. You can only store what you have room for. Where is, okay. We don't have any compound. That's fine. We're gonna go up here. We'll grab some compound. Finally, we got some, uh, we got some good old compound here. Okay, we're gonna build our storage deals. These storage deals are, like, super critical to keeping a nice space. So, if you guys have been, like, playing this and you get irritated by not having the storage and not being able to put stuff places, like, nicely, you got these guys. So, they got... Four on each side, you can't see this one because it keeps spinning, but then when you put them on here, they flatten out, which is perfect for store and stuff. And then you also put them on shuttles, you can put them anywhere, you can just put them anywhere, it's it's fantastic. Now, also another cool thing about these is that if you have them on here, and say you place resources on here and you build this guy, they'll automatically go there. Or if you have them on here and this needs something, it'll automatically grab from there. Uh, yeah, they're, they're super handy. Super handy if you guys didn't know about them. Well, there you go. That's how you organize stuff. That's it's amazing You cannot put them on your backpack though as well because yeah, the backpacks all you get. That's all you get for slots <laughs> so All right, um, I'm curious about building the large storage because It's 3200 bytes. We're almost there if we build the large storage It'll double our slots on this guy. It'll go from four slot to an eight slot So we'd be able to put that and three of these guys on here versus that in one so we're gonna try that, we're gonna try that. I'm gonna wait for this to develop some more bites and we'll be right back. All right, we definitely got our bites now. Uh, I went and I searched for another one of these guys because this guy was open and I was like, you know what, we gotta get him going. We gotta get him going. Oh, this one's only 5,500, that's okay. That's better than nothing. We're getting too spoiled here with these like 9,700 9, ones. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna try something and I'm not positive, I, I know I've done it in the past, I cannot remember if it works. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna build a large storage on here. This is gonna be a learning experience for you guys, I guess as well, oh here. We'll do a little demonstration of how this works. Look at watching all there, ready to go. Alright, we're gonna put a large storage on here. Now, I'm really hoping that I can still use the ship like this because I do remember a point where you couldn't actually use the ship if this was on there like that. Now we're gonna try with this with the seat first. Because you can actually use the one seat to take off in the shuttle. Does it still give me the option? No, it doesn't. See? Okay, I cannot click it. So what happens if I put a habitito on there? Habitat? Okay. Habitat you can. The habitat you can use this. The uh the storage on it. Okay. Cool. That's good. That's what I, I kinda that's what kinda what I thought. I think you could use the one seat if you don't have the storage on there. But if you have the storage, you have to have the habitat. And you can't build like that cockpit or anything else on like on top of the uh on top of the storage, obviously. So okay. Uh we got that guy on there now. Now we need, I don't want any of this on there. I want, uh, we're gonna go ahead and build some small storage again because we're gonna t 
take uh, probably three of these things with us, and we're gonna go build on a new planet. A whole new planet. We're gonna go make a second base. A second base! Okay, there's that one. I only have one left. Oh, we have some lithium. Ooh, we should just, ah, uh, I should've put that in there. <laughs> quick, some quick bites. What are, what's like our, uh, 556? Not bad, not bad at all. I'm just gonna leave this here. Leave that here. And leave a battery here. I don't, I don't need a battery for anything. Uh, actually, let's just throw this over here. We'll throw it right there. Okay, perfect. All right, now, uh, we're gonna need one more storage thing, I think, and then we're gonna have to get a whole bunch of compound, a whole bunch of lithium, stuff like that. What is? Do I have? Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're gonna use this to get the resin, I do believe. Yeah, we're gonna use this to get the resin for sure. And then we'll go out and get the compound ourselves, because I think we can find compound pretty easy. However, I do want a small solar panel. There's one. There's one. Perfect. And then we're going to take this guy with us, too. On the back of our truck. Our small medium rover. Medium. Is it the medium rover? I get this confused all the time because the, uh, the bigger rover used to be called the truck. Yeah, medium rover, large rover. This used to actually be called the truck. That was his actual name. Its actual thing was the truck, so. All right, um... You know what, let's get some quick power. Quick power, charge up, charge up, quickly! Quickly, charge faster! Uh, okay, good. And then we're gonna go out, we're gonna get some compound. Actually, we're just gonna get compound, that's really about it. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, let's do it. So we ended up getting more resin than getting compound, but that's okay. That's just, it's just how it happens sometimes. So we're definitely not going to copy the resin because we have we have plenty of resin. Uh, but we do I do want another storage deal, so we're going to go over here. We're going to make at least another storage deal. One of those guys, fantastic, and then we can start loading stuff up on these. Perfect. Um, I guess we'll load this one with resin because we already have like all of this ready. To go anyways. Alright, that one's good to go. Load them up, ready to rock and roll. Okay, now we got one more. Um, perfect. Put that back like that. Leave it like a so. And we got one thing of resin. Compound. Okay, we need compound for... I'm trying to think what we, what we need. Like, we need one compound for a research chamber. But I kind of want to go get lithium. I think lithium's going to be our run. We're going to run for lithium today. We're going to go to the arid planet, and we're going to set up a small base, and we're going to run for lithium. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a lithium run. <laughs> okay. So we're going to need... Actually, we're not going to need that much resin, because my goal is to build habitat, vehicle bay, small rover, a seat. So we're going to need the printer. The printer runs on... Oh, the printer's copper now, is or it's aluminum now. Oh, yes it is, because I've done this before. I've done this before. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to need aluminum. Uh, oh, we are going to need quite a bit of compound, because the small rover is compound. It's a compound-based thing. Okay, cool. Actually, we have tons of resin. Like, we, I have a lot of resin already. Is that guy full? No, one more. Let's do, uh, let's throw, we'll throw this resin on there. Perfect. All right, that guy's ready to go. Um, we're gonna need a little bit more aluminum, a little bit more copper. We're gonna go grab those, and then we're gonna throw those guys on there. And probably grab a little bit more compound along the way. We already got one lithium. But yeah, we're gonna grab a little bit more compound, a little bit more aluminum, just so we'll have those. And I think we'll have everything we need in order to leave to the next planet. We got our aluminum, we got the copper. So now we gotta smelt the goody stuff up. Okay, uh, so I got, I got enough to have four of each. Just to be safe, because I don't know exactly what we're gonna need, like a hundred percent. So I just want to make sure, make sure we got a little bit more than we need. Hopefully, uh, we could always build the large ship if we wanted to, make sure that we had really had everything. But that's all right. That's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this guy on there as well. Actually, I don't think I need that. I don't. I don't need that guy. That guy could stay there. He could be the copy. He could be the copy. 
And then we'll need those two. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, so we got copper, copper. Um, you know, I I'd really like. Okay, we we can do that. We'll do two and two and two. We'll do two and two. That's fine. I can I can allow that. <laughs> I was like, no, we can't. I want the copper to all be on one side. <laughs> this is there. Thank you. Much better. Much better. Okay. Um, I think we need to make some some compound. I think we're just gonna copy it. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. We got a whole bunch of soil samples anyways. Look at that. That thing's completely full. It's like completely full. That's fine. So I just need I need to borrow one of you. Just just one. Oh, thank you. And let's go ahead and throw this. Oh wait, I already had one. Alright, cool. Copy that bad boy up. We'll put this one back then. We'll put this one over here. Let that one copy. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got four aluminum. We got four copper. A whole bunch of resin. A whole bunch of compound. We're good to go. Let's do it. Let's set off. Now, I think we want we want lithium. Lithium is a worth quite a bit, and two, it is just a good thing to have. Um, I really want to bring the generator. We're gonna take a generator instead of a canister. Actually, to be completely honest, we don't need any canisters. That's just taking up spots in our bag that we we don't really have to take up. Okay, let's take that guy. And then we got a small solar panel. That's fine. I can, I can, we can take, we'll take a small solar panel with us. Um, and then I think we should take, you know what? Let's take some more resin just in case. I think that might be smart. Might be smart. Actually, let's take, uh, should we take oxygen? No, we're gonna have the vehicle. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's do it. Let us set, set course to a new planet. Coming up. Let's do it. Okay. And cha-ching! Here we go. Oh, isn't it magnificent? Alrighty, now if you guys don't know how to do this, this is how you terrest the map. Terrest, terrest, go, uh, get from place to place. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you have to hit the little button deal, and it's gonna let you select your planet. You, This ring right here, you have to wait until the planets come within orbit in order to get to your planet that you wanna go to. So we wanna go to Arid. So actually we're gonna planet hop. We're gonna go from here, to over there and you can you can plan it hop like this so that planet's closer so we're gonna go over there and then once we get to that planet we can go to the next planet it's kind of cool kind of a neat neat little idea here um okay come on come on come on come on come on come on okay uh and then hit that button again and no it's right there that's the one we want to go to we don't want to go to radiated radiated um an interesting planet so it's so is arid arid has spiky balls of death you'll see the spiky balls of death don't you worry don't you worry just for a second. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's a whole bunch of lithium here though, and that's what I'm after. I'm after the lithium. Because I want to get like, we're gonna set up a base and then all these things are gonna be full of lithium. That's the idea, anyways. Idea, okay. So when picking a landing spot, it's nice to keep in mind the orientation of the sun, which is, okay, the, or the sun is on this side of the equator, the equator being these, the star, this thick star cluster right here, you can see that line. So you kind of want one, you know, maybe on this side, ish. Um, let's go with that one. That one looks good. It looks like a good bubble. It's a good bubble. Now, if you actually go all the way to the like the very pole of it, you can actually get like daylight all the time. Uh, so I've heard. I haven't really, really been able to get it to work a whole lot. So, okay, we got some titanium right there, and I'm guessing maybe lithium over there. Usually these uh, these little dark patches like that. Those are those are the the other stuffs. Okay. Um, now, shoot. <gasps> I don't think I brought enough compound. I didn't. Wait, how much do I have in my bag? Oh, okay, I did. Oh my gosh, I was like, there's no way. Did I really not bring enough compound for this? <gasps> oh, that would have been terrible. That would have been terrible. Okay, no spiky balls of death yet. Not yet. They will come. They will come, don't you worry. Okay, we're going to put that there. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> now, first thing we're gonna do is build a rover and a printer. So, one there, perfect. And then we're gonna want a vehicle bay, which is going to be the aluminum that we need. Bring that guy over here. See, we can just do that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't automatically feed these because it doesn't want to like give you the wrong idea, I guess. Uh, okay, there, vehicle bay, online, perfect. Now we need, I don't have any more resin. We need resin. Resin! I will set that there, one of these, perfect. One of those, one of them. I like it, I like it. Okay, and one, two. 
build this guy and now we want the printer the printer is crucial because it prints all your stuff like if say a seat because we need a oh dear we need a we need a habitat to get back we don't need a seat we need a habitat <gasps> oh no okay that's fine we'll be fine uh i think we should print that first actually so when you're going to a new planet especially one like this that doesn't necessarily have compound and stuff like all over it we don't know yet you need to save stuff for say the habitat that you're gonna need in order to like get anything done because uh yeah you need to get, be, be able to get back somehow and i've gotten myself trapped on planets some numerous times and then you're out looking for like super basic stuff like compound or whatever it's terrible it's terrible but okay we have two compound for that this is enough compound for that and yeah we should be good we should be all right now um this guy Put them right there. Okay, so we have plenty of resin. Doesn't look like we need as much resin. Normally you build a bigger base, but for this, for the sake of doing this, that is the slowest thing ever. Like my gosh, hurry up, would you? Uh, actually, we have this. Let's do this. Let's get some organic. All planets don't have organic either. Organic's not necessarily the easiest thing to find, so just keep that in mind when you're when you're going somewhere. Uh, organic's always a good thing to have. However, it's not like a guaranteed uh, thing. Not a guaranteed thing. Okay, we got a storm. There's gonna be frequent storms. There's no st spiky balls of death yet, which I'm kind of curious about, but oh well. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's hide. Let us hide. The storm has passed. Uh, I think. Yes, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we got the little teeny tiny rover over here. Now, we also need... Luckily, I have compound in my bag. Um... So first thing we're gonna build, we're gonna build, oh my gosh, get up there. We're gonna build a habitat so we can get back because, oh, it's copper. Oh, we got copper though. Oh, that's good. I thought it was, the habitat used to be compound, so don't get it confused. Uh, if you're just now starting to play this game, you probably won't ever have that problem like I do, but it used to be compound. Now it's not. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this guy built. Oh, I'm glad I brought copper with me. Put that guy back on there. Perfect. Now we can leave. We can leave. Uh, this guy has no power. How do you not have any power? Oh, you're charging that. Okay. Uh, next thing I think we're going to build is... We honestly could build a big solar panel, which we might do... No, we won't. We're not, because we're not really... This base isn't going to be a base. This is like a forward operating base. It's kind of like a little teeny tiny base. Just for the pure purpose of collecting lithium. Lithium will be everywhere. You're gonna be so excited. Oh, actually, you know what we need to unlock here is we need to unlock the inhibitor mod, which is actually not with the rest of the mods for some odd reason. I don't know why they wouldn't put it with the rest of the mods. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, inhibitor mod. We need this guy. Boom. And please do not require aluminum. Oh, please don't require aluminum. Inhibitor mod. It's copper. Oh, good. See, I'm glad we didn't use it. Perfect, the inhibitor mod. Why this mod in particular? Because this, what this does, here, we're gonna do a quick quick demonstration for you. Is, when you have it on here, boom, it's equipped, it's green, it's ready to rock and roll. You'll notice, I can't dig anything. It doesn't let you dig anything. However, you can still collect resources semi close to the surface. And it, you can like clear stuff out, you can just like make stuff smoother, you can move rocks, things like that. It just like, it's like a cleanup kind of tool. However, what is nice about it, is that there's some uh you know what i'll just show you so it turns out we never unlocked the one seat either <laughs> oh joys good thing we have enough uh deals for it which is right here open one seat perfect open one seat should just be copper or compound okay and we still have perfect okay we need the open one seat so we can drive this guy so we can drive that bad boy um we don't really need any of these well uh, no back here yeah, but, oh wait, right there. Okay, perfect. And we'll put that guy on here, like so. Disconnect, put that guy on there, and then one, two, three. Okay, third one's over here. I was like, where's the other one at? Um, We'll put that guy on there. Perfect, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. So, I'm gonna show you the inhibitor rod. Why it's so great and why we wanted it for doing this. Oh, look, there's a listing right here. So if you guys have never, there's the spiky balls of death. There's the spiky balls of death. They're right there. I knew it. I knew they'd be after me. They're always after me. <laughs> They're after me, life force. Um, okay. Now, if you get rid of this guy, we'll take him off, put him over there for now. You can collect lithium on the outside of it because this soil. This stuff right here, you can't collect. 
because it's rock solid. It's a rock. Like you have to, you can't do anything with it, like about it. Now, you throw the inhibitor mod on there. It lets you dig below the surface a tiny bit, so you can go through and collect everything. And look how fast I collected all that lithium. I mean, granted, you can dig underneath, and you can get a little bit more. However, it's kind of nice just to grab the stuff off the surface and leave it because it looks, it leaves it looking nice. It's not too, like it doesn't. You don't mess with the planet a whole lot when you do it that way. You know, this is really interesting that there's a little pathway right here. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, you're kind of looking for these little nodes like this. Um, again, these are lith this is lithium right here, and that's kind of what we came for. So uh, inhibitor mod on. Shoom, look at that. Look how fast we collected all that goodies. All the goodies collected. That's that's why we came here. And lithium, like I said, is worth a boatload of bytes. Absolute boatload of bytes. Um, and there and there okay perfect we did it we did it and then we'll go ahead put some power on here i'm gonna go around i'm gonna collect some more lithium and uh i mean we could explore the planet a little bit but for the most part like other than like the surface and the hazards and whatnot and like the type of resources that are available on the surface as you can see the resources available on this the surface of this planet titanium lithium and i think it's aluminum Titanium, lithium, and aluminum. And there's also gas pods on the surface too, if you guys didn't know that. If you didn't notice that right away, uh, there's there's some gas pods over here too. <laughs> it's kind of funny, okay. Um, hmm, I don't need all this resin. I don't really need all this resin here. And I kind of wanted to bring these guys back so we could collect some. I mean, I could use all this compound and make more storage deals and we could leave resin here in case we want to come back that might be a thing that might be a thing okay all right uh yes so oh shoot i really want well let's just uh, let's just drop this lithium off here so collecting up the last bit of lithium that we need i already have two little sword things full of it on the ship ready to rock and roll now some a couple of things i didn't i didn't really uh touch on a whole lot and you guys might have questions there's a lot of people probably getting the game for the first time that may have not played any of this may not know any of this so uh these little spiky balls of death they are spiky balls of death because if they, when they hit you, they will kill you. They hurt you a lot and they don't like your life force. So they try to take it from you. <laughs> and then also, uh, some people might be asking like a planet like this, like how would you survive if there's no compound or resin or anything like that? Well, you have something called the trade platform and it's expensive for a reason. It's like a last, it's like a, I don't, it's not like an, an end game item, but it's, it's definitely an item that you, they want you to open last. Because what it allows you to do is you, it tr you can trade resources essentially. Uh, so if you come on this planet, I can't see anything now. This stupid storm. It allows you to trade resources, and lithium is a rare resource, so it's worth a lot when it comes to trade. So you could actually put one lithium on there. I think it's. I want to say it's one for four. I think it's one lithium for four compound or four resin. So one lithium could give you all the compound or resin you need forever. Like this whole planet, you can you can literally live off of here by trading and building stuff and doing all that happy fun stuff. Uh, so that's kind of why that's there. It gives you the option to like live on this planet, do some trade, maybe kind of be a merchant if that's what you want to do. It is fun and we'll get into that in a later episode, but really for now, I want to focus on my main base of Turan. Oh geez, we're getting full. We're getting full. And uh, I just kind of want to take the lithium back, get some batteries built, and because uh, I think bytes wise, I think for the bite situation, I think we're I think we're doing pretty good here. Like we're at twelve thousand right now, um, and I mean I do want to I don't want the seats. I don't care about the seats. Open three seats, like no, I don't, no. Uh, but the large rover, I do want to get that. That's eight thousand, so that's going to be like over half of them right there. Uh, the large shuttle, I do want to get as well. So that's like sixteen thousand. Um, and also, lithium's worth a lot. Like, we've already, we already found that out with lithium is worth quite a bit. So, if anything, we could go back, turn this lithium onto those, put this lithium, lithium on the research chambers, and make bank. We could be just be rolling in the money. That like we, we could definitely do that. Um, hey, there's more lithium over here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish grabbing, grabbing this stuff up, and then I think we're going to head back to the base of Terrain. Alrighty, we got all the lithium that we can hold. Uh, minus two. I mean, there's a spot right there for two. So this is another thing that I forgot to do, and is I'm I'm gonna tell you I do this all the time, and it's it's rough. When you go somewhere on a ship, the the two little deals on the habitat, I recommend putting two extra canisters of hydrazine on there because when you land on a planet, it you like when you take off, it uses stuff. You can always land. However, you can't always take off. So 
Sometimes you'll get caught somewhere and you're like, oh shoot, I can't even take off. That's why those two extra canisters are always good to have. But, uh, because you can see it uses quite a bit to take off. I think this thing has... I want to say it has three takeoffs. I think this one has three. Maybe four. Maybe four. I don't know. I'm not positive. But, um, okay. We're heading back to terrain now. Look at all the lithium. Look at all the fuzzy little koosh balls we have. Oh, they're so cute. All right, now we just got to find our bubble. Where's our bubble? Oh, we just passed it. Pretty sure it's over there. Pretty sure our bubble's over there. So when you when you start the game, it pretty much always lands you right here on the center of the planet. Like, pretty pretty darn close to the middle of the planet like that. So uh, you're going to notice it pretty quick here. Where is... Where is it? Aha, uh -huh, I see it. Here it comes. So anywhere you put a vehicle bay, it'll also, like, give you the, the little bubble to go home. So you can see your little home deal. Click on that bubble. You go back to your... It's probably going to land right back at the... Uh, the vehicle bay that we took off from usually how it works unless sometimes you get like right next to it and then yeah see ta-da! but then that kind of means you need another vehicle bay to build anything else but uh but yeah so would you look at all that lithium would you just look at all that lithium we're like surrounded in lithium all the lithiums look at that would you just look at that lithium oh my gosh there's so much lithium all righty well that's actually gonna be the end of the episode guys i hope you enjoyed if you did, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Helps out a little tiny channel like myself quite a bit. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, that's hey, come here.